Christian listeners and Christian voters have a concern about who this man is. What's your perspective? Well, the irony is that the most uh, religious Christians and Jews uh, tend to be more supportive of the president, of President Trump, than uh, secular people uh, and many secular people uh, and uh, many of the less, if you will, fundamentalist uh, religious groups. So it's the most Bible preoccupied Jews and Christians who have the the most lenient attitude toward the president, and for good reason, because they learned wisdom from the Bible. They don't they don't defend conduct, but they defend the idea that God can use people who were deeply flawed, like King David. King David did much worse things than any allegations with regard to Donald Trump. I mean, he had a man killed in order to sleep with his wife and impregnated her. Uh, Donald Trump, nobody's accused Donald Trump of uh, having a husband killed. So, and I give the other example of God using a, a prostitute. Of all the people in Canaan, why did God choose a prostitute to save the Jewish people when they entered Canaan? I think there's a lesson there, and that is that personal sin uh, is still sin, uh, but the issue for people who affect the large number of people is how do they affect the large number of people? Uh, Schindler was a, was a the man of Schindler's List. Oscar Schindler uh, was a uh, a serial adulterer. That doesn't mean adultery is good. It means that we we are here to assess people on the basis of what they do on the macro level. If they are a public figure, how do they affect society? And that's what a mature question to me would be. And by the way, I felt the same with Bill Clinton. I was completely uninterested in what he did sexually. Not I'm talking. I'm not. I'm talking about in the White House. I'm not talking about uh, the uh, allegations of rape, which uh, nobody is alleged with regard to Donald Trump. Anyway, that's the that's the essential issue. Wisdom here is important.